OK, I'm sorry if I went a bit overboard, all right? Overboard? You didn't even steal those vapes. I've been through all your stuff, everything, there's nothing there. OK. And even if he did, which he didn't, but even if he did, that still doesn't give you the right to break into our house and assault him. He upset Simon. Well, you upset my son. You made me doubt mine. He's already in tears and I have to sit him down and question him, all because of you. Give me one good reason I don't go to the police. What? Please, what, what is going on here? He broke down our front door and grabbed Dylan. You did what? He stole Simon's vape pens. You know the ones he was going to sell down the market? But that's the point, though. He didn't. He didn't steal Simon's vapes, and now my lad's really shaken up. I'm not surprised. But, but, please, Sean, do you really have to call the police? He's out of control! You can't just go around all right, accusing Sean. kids of all sorts. OK, I've said I'm sorry. What more do you want me to say? I'll pay to fix your door. Do you want me to come around and say sorry to Dylan? I don't want you anywhere near him. Fine. Yeah. Look, I can see why you're angry. I know why you're angry. And obviously, he is way out of order. Please, please, Sean, don't phone the police. I mean, we've, we've really got enough on our plate already. Please. Right, well, I won't. But only because of you. And you stay out of my way. And if you come within 10 feet of Dylan, I'll have you arrested. Thank you. Leave this. Temper got the better of him. What do you want me to say? What? No, you broke his door in and assaulted his kid. I didn't assault him. I only grabbed hold of the back of his jacket. That's all I did. Pardon? No. No. This is not all right. This is not normal behaviour, Peter. And it's not just this, is it? Cos you were shouting the odds at me earlier today for no reason at all. So what the hell is going on with you? I killed someone. Another human being. That's what's wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I keep playing it in my mind. Over and over, constantly. It's like a film running in the background all the time. No matter what I'm doing. Let's torch. The only time I get a break is when I go to sleep. But as soon as I open my eyes, it just all starts all over again. Oh, I just want to press a stop button. I don't want to just make it all go. But I can't. A few years ago, I'd have just reached for the bottle, killed the pain, but there's no question about it. Do you want to do that now? Or... I can't say that. I'm not craving that oblivion. But I couldn't do it to you and Simon. I'd just end up drinking myself to death. And... Then I would have killed two people. I'm really struggling. I can't even look in the mirror without just wanting to just smash. Oh, baby, you need some help. <laughs> you need to see a counsellor or a psychologist or something. I don't know, maybe. I just don't see what good it would do. Because the fact is I've killed somebody and all the talking in the world won't change that, will it? You can't stay like this. You're full of self-hatred and loathing and it, taking it out on yourself and everybody else. I know. I just don't know what the answer is. What's the answer? you you got to find a way to forgive yourself. I'm trying. I just... It's just... Told me, okay, yeah. and you can know that I can forgive you. 
can you? And I love you. And I'm here. For better or for worse. Yeah. What could it get any worse than this? Oh, Peter, come on, you've looked after me. Now it's my turn, all right? And we're going to get you through this together. <laughs>